Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Now, uh, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, I'm going to be showing you, like, specific 80s comedies in my um, DVD collection. Not not, like, not really, like, all... I'm sure I have a few more 80s comedies out in the living room, but I'm only going to show the ones in my personal collection. Now, some, like, a lot of these movies I talked about in the past as my favorite movies. Like, I used to do a series of videos talking about my favorite movies per decade, and I talked about, like, a handful bunch. And, um, so basically I'm just going to show you, like, some of, like, the 80s comedies. Like, some of them are considered real comedy. I realize I think I forgot to pick up one, but never consider this as a comedy, more like a sci-fi. I mean, I'll talk about it, like, in the, another video coming soon. But I'm going to show you some of my, um, like, 80s comedies in my, um, DVD collection. Especially, I want to talk about one I was originally going to do, like, for review on, but I realized I don't know if I can explain the plot very well, so uh, this is a video to make up for it. Now, the first one I have here, um, which and some of these I don't think you've seen, and um, like a few are like brand new add ins that you probably have not seen in the DVD collection videos or something. Um, this one um, I don't think I've talked about is Training Places, which um, which I only seen this movie like once in my life, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I didn't think it was that funny, but I feel like I need to watch this again. Um, this is with Dan Aykroyd and, um, Eddie Murphy, I guess it's about, they, like, swapping place and stuff. That's all I can remember. But, um, I might give this one a chance. Like I said, I don't remember that one being, like, one of my favorite comedies. Now, this one is my top favorite Ernest film. It is, um, Ernest Goes to Camp, which, a very, almost, very funny, um, summer, summer camp movie. Definitely the one to watch coming up for the summer season and everything. Now, I had this DVD for years, but never seen the movie, never got around watching it. Pretty soon I will is um, Caddyshack, which I'm sure some of you have probably seen. It's like one of those classic comedies from the early 80s, but like I said, I can't talk about it until until I've seen it, so I, yeah. Um, the next one I have here is um, Paul Hogan, who I don't think he has done that many movies in recent years. Um, I guess he came back in one Pacific film, but I don't know anything about that one. Is um the first Crocodile Dundee movie, which I think is the best one. The the other ones are just okay. Like I think I think the first one's the best, and like like part part two, there's some slow moments and stuff. But I remember watching that like a handful of times on TV and stuff. But this is the one I like the best. Another one that I have not seen yet. Yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of movies I like. Mainly I would buy. And then, like, like some of these I already have, and there's these sounds I would be, get, be given, and um, never get around watching them. This is one of them I still have to look at. Fast Times at Richmond High. Yeah, I have not looked at it yet. And this one's definitely a classic. My fi like one of my favorite Steve Martin films with John Candy is um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Like, this is definitely a classic. Like, probably the only Thanksgiving movie people know about. Like, there's another one I know about called. National Lampoon's Holiday Reunion, but not that many people know about that one. But, yeah, there aren't that many Thanksgiving comedies, and this is one of the classic ones I recommend. And then, um, I realized I forgot to pick up the two the two other vacation movies from the 80s, like the original Vacation, European Vacation, and this is probably my favorite, is um, Christmas Vacation. Definitely a funny classic film. And this one, yeah, you consider it one more of a kid, but it's a comedy, is um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which... Is one of those movies I used to watch the hell out of a lot when I was a kid. And um, as you can tell, I've lost the slip cover two years ago because as a kid I was very careless with stuff. But uh, yeah, like a lot, of these, a lot of these movies you know. I don't have to go into depth. And um, and, and I think I have the other uh, Cheech and Chong movie out in, in the living room somewhere. I just didn't feel like getting it. Um, like, uh, there's still smoking and nice dreams. Like, Cheech and Chong made a bunch of comedies in the 80s, and um, the first one was Up in Smoke, but that was from 1978, yeah, but, um, yeah, I, I kind of like the Cheech Chong movies, but they're only for adults, not for kids. Um, next one is um, the original Adventures in Babysitting, which I, I really, I really like this one, and um, back, I think, in 2016 or something, I don't know if many people remembered, but Disney Channel did, like, a remake of this one, I haven't seen it, so I can't comment on it, but the first Adventures in Babysitting, it's a fun movie. And don't call me Shirley. The first airplane. And oddly enough, I kind of like the second one as well. Of course, the first film is like one of those first um, main, like major spoof movies, and this is definitely still holds up over 40 years later. And there's the first Revenge of the Nerds, 
really enjoyed this one, and I don't think I've seen the sequels all the way through. And this is a definitely childhood favorite, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. This is my introduction to Pee Wee. I remember when I was a little, little kid watching this on, on like one of those um, recorded tapes. My mom, like she recorded this um, movie off of TV, and I would be watching it. But for years, up until I was like, I think, 10 or 11 years, years old, I don't think I would have seen the movie again up until then. And I would not remember the name. All I know is it had Pee Wee Herman in it. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Make sure these don't fall off the bed. And this one, um, people consider it like as a comedy, um, I guess. Um, I guess it includes The Breakfast Club. Um, I think I talked about this movie before. I like this movie, I'm not obsessed with it, as a lot of you are, but, um, it's still... Yeah, I, I recommend The Breakfast Club. Now, this is the one I was going to review tonight, but I can't find a way to explain it. Is um and this is like a new edition. I got this on. I ordered this like last month, I believe. So, is in Tom Hanks the Burbs. This is a really funny comedy about um Tom Hanks who lives in the suburban um, neighborhood, and then um there's like a certain like he's he and, and a group of of his friends I guess try to investigate like one specific neighbor. You, know, you see what I mean? I can't really explain it well, but this is definitely. Very fun film. I think one of the Tom Hanks movies I don't think gets brought up a lot. Um, I don't know. Not as much as the one I'm going to show next. But this this is a very funny comedy. Um, and um, next one, definitely a classic everyone knows about. Big. I think this is probably my favorite Tom Hanks movie next to um, Forrest Gump. And you all know this. This is um, um, Tom Hanks' character when he was a child, like I think 12 years old, which he was an adult. And then he wakes up as... Grown up Tom Hanks and definitely classic film. Definitely don't miss out on this one. And um, I got next one. I got Good Morning Vietnam. Now I have seen this movie but haven't opened it yet. So um, I definitely want to watch this again. This is definitely one of Ron Williams' best comedies. And uh, yeah, how could you go wrong with that? Next one is um, my favorite John Candy film. Next to Plain Strange on Wheels is um, Uncle Buck. Where he comes over to look, look after his kids while um, while the kids' parents are away on a family emergency. And yeah, definitely. Um, like if you just recently discovered like John Candy stuff, like this is the one movie I recommend you check out. And the next one is um, my favorite collaboration with Richard Pryor and G. Wilder: "See No Evil, Hear No Evil." And I don't know if it's probably a well-known movie, but in case you don't know, and please don't take this seriously. Basically, it's about um, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor play disabled people like Gene Wilder's death, Richard Pryor's blind, and they get framed for murder and they trying to like um not really like clear their names but trying to hunt the actual killer down. Like this is definitely a very funny movie. I don't think would be made today. You know, this is definitely I think something they could probably have gotten away with it in what year this came out? Nineteen eighty nine, like like I said. <laughs> Same thing with certain films. That um, may be very, very un PC these days, but this is def a very funny comedy. I don't know anyone who finds this offensive. And the last one I have here is um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which I remember watching like a handful of times on tape next to um, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. And there was another one, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Like, both of the sequels are from the 90s, so I can't count them. And the second one, I remember being kind of scared by it and didn't watch it. Like, I, like every single time I would. As a kid, every time I watch the second one, I get freaked out by that one scene and would not finish it up until, I don't know, eight years ago or so. But the first time I shrunk the kids with Rick Moranis, definitely a child favorite of mine. So that's my um, 80s movies in my collection. I want to be specific. Like, not all these are my favorites. Like, I mentioned some that I've not seen and one that it's not definitely not my favorite. I just want to, like, show my, like, definitely 80s comedies that I have in my collection. I know I forgot to talk about a few. Um, let me know what some of your favorite um, A's comedies movies are. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Adios.